If you are listening to this, my name is Kylie. Welcome collection family, remember no spamming, no cursing and please no sus comments. Remember to hit the like button, and subscribe if you are new, Corvette Corvette. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the stream. We made it, or you guys made it. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday, dude. Holy shamoles. Happy freaking Friday. Wow's everyone feeling this morning, man? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hold on. There it goes. That's perfect. What up, everybody? Good morning. Appreciate you guys tapping in. If you guys don't mind, smash that like button on the way in. Happy freaking Friday. Thank goodness it's Friday. What up, everybody? Good morning. Uh, Kate. Kate for the Rio. Kate for the five month Rio says, Good morning, collection family. Run it up for my favorite streamer. Shout out to Kate for the five month Rio. What up, Kate? What's good? Diego in the building. What's good? Cushy Souls. Tyler. Al Chang. Irish Stripe. Jeffrey. What up? Uh, better call Paul in the building. What up, Shiesty? Adam. What up, Casanova Kane? Good morning. Uh, Jay Bay's in the building. Big Brown, Deleon, I see you. Adam, Snowbird, what's good? Mark and Souls, Ollie in the building, what's good? Seaweed in the building, good morning. Bobby Kicks in the building, what's good? Scene Lover, uh, Cass, yes sir. Mark and Souls in the building, what's good? JS Mom, what up? Uh, Sosa in the building, good morning. Uh, good morning, my brother. Good morning, collection family. Thank goodness it's Friday, yes sir. Adam, what up? Uh, top Yapper checking in. Rami says, "What up, Rami? Robert in the building. What's good? Jamie, Chevy rides. What up, Chevy? Uh, Greg R in the building. What's good, dude? Uh, Kiwi in the building. What's good? Pete the Greek in the building. What's good, Pete? Four uh, five oh four N- uh, Nell in the building. What's good? Uh, Bob Bo in the building. What's good? Bob Bo in the building. What up? We in this M- uh, mother effing building. Good morning, family. Shout out to my boy Bob Boo. Or Bob Bo in the building. Um, he says, we fire. Yes, sir. Snowbird, bring that beat back. He says, Bully Production. What up? Happy Friday, everybody. Paulo in the building. What's good? Uh, Street Market Supply Pokemon is today. It is. Uh, Francisco, good morning. Appreciate you guys tapping in as always. Um, happy freaking Friday. Rich Boy in the building. What's good, my guy? Uh, can you sing my name, Ravi? Jamie. What up, Jamie? What's good, dude? Good morning. Happy Friday to you, my friend. Um... Let's see uh, who else is in the building. Uh, where them Kobe's dropping? Uh, the raffles are live right now if you want to sign up. But nothing is really dropping this morning. Um, very, uh, very, very quiet today. Uh, J. Cole Dis- Kedrick. I see. I seen that last month, uh, last night. It was like a seven minute or something like that. Or I don't know what it was called. But I didn't get to listen to it. A lot of people were posting it yesterday. I will listen to it today. CJ, what up, dude? Uh, good morning. Uh, Big Ron's Kicks. What up, Big Ron? Happy Friday to you. Married to Designer in the building. What's good? Good morning. Uh, appreciate you guys tapping in as always. What is 
threatening everybody. Random thoughts. J. Cole's the goat, Snowbird says. Yeah, a lot of people are posting it uh, yesterday on uh, Instagram. Uh, out of side mind. What up, dude? Good morning. Good morning to you. Appreciate you tapping in. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, man. I really do. Yeah, seven minute drill. That's what it was called. Uh, low woman's uh, team got. Um, I uh, got Venice Beaches. Kobe's gifted to them. Really? I didn't see that, Nate. I did not see that. Iowa women's uh, team got the uh, Venice Beaches gifted to them. I did not see that. RPK, good morning, my friend. Appreciate you tapping in. Good morning, good morning, good morning. There's some stuff that we got to talk about this morning, though. So this is just going to be like our ordinary, uh, you know, podcast. Um of uh, just us yapping about sneakers this morning and releases and whatnot. But, dude, there's really nothing going on, guys. There's really nothing going on. All right, but okay. Yesterday we could go ahead and recap what went down yesterday. Yesterday we obviously had the Travis Scott merch uh, stuff, uh, the double, the NC double A uh, stuff that dropped yesterday. Um, I'm st I'm still I don't know why people think the some people think the shoes were gonna release. Um, not sure why, but hey, listen. All I gotta say is hey man, say man. We'll let you guys know when the Travis's are going to drop, all right? They should be dropping by the end of this month. Uh, but there's no indication that the Travis's are going to be dropping, you know, you know, you know, tomorrow. You feel me? So um, just know that Travis's uh, Jumpman Jacks were never scheduled to drop in the last couple days, nor this week. Um, it was all the Mitchell and Ness stuff that was supposed to drop. So, um if someone tells you otherwise, um, they're wrong. All right. So, but anyways, going back to yesterday, the Travis Scott stuff. Did anybody end up buying stuff last night or last minute? Uh, because a good amount of stuff did sell out. Now, now that I'm looking at it, um, a good amount of stuff sold out. Some stuff obviously are still sitting, but really, uh, really, there's a lot of stuff that are actually sold out on his site, dude. All I gotta say is that Travis Scott, he made a dude. Holy, I would all this stuff that they sold on this site, dude. Golly, he he made a lot of shmoneys off all of us or all of whoever bought all this shit dude holy crap it's a lot of stuff man what up gate made a, a good purchase got a new balance 530 today and uh man they're comfy copped uh end up copying the supreme french uh press so let's go there you go kate what up Brittany? good morning raider Ra raider alex in the building trayway what's good dude good morning i uh, appreciate you tapping in i see you karen good morning uh, Miami stuff all gone. Yeah, dude. All like a lot of the stuff that was on this uh, on this uh, thing is 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 clipped. Some of the backpacks sold out. Uh, bought two hats and neither sold out. Impulse buy turned to a massive L. Hey, Tyler, listen, it's only an L because you you only bought it for the resale aspect. You feel me? If you bought it because you like it, I mean, it's not necessarily an L, bro. You know what I mean? So like. You feel me? Like, if it's still available, sure, you know, cool. But at least, you know, you bought something you actually like. So it's not necessarily an L at all. Uh, all that merch was trash, Stretch Kick says. It is. I just, I, it was pretty expensive. But I, I, I if there was, like, WSU on here, like I said, I would have bought one. Uh, here to Raph. Good morning. What up, Jumpman? What's good, man? Uh, what's dropping today? I am Mo Kicks. Um, nothing is dropping this morning from what it looks like. We'll keep an eye up any, uh, you know, restocks, um, that comes our way, but we'll see what happens, man. But this morning we're going to be talking about some sneakers that end up popping up some stuff that, um, you know, some people may not know of when it comes to scheduling for next month. Uh, but other than that, it's going to be a nice little chill Friday. So, um, let's see, um, Hold on, let's see. Morning, Alex. What's good? Yo, who put old boy on timeout? Who put Alex on timeout? Or Pete, what are you doing? Take your take your phone out of the pockets. You, you're deleting messages, my friend. Shout out to Pete the Greek. <laughs> uh, what up, Rahus? What's good, man? Uh, Boston still uh still there. Boston. Um, I'm not sure. Let's see, Boston. Boston, 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 Mississippi, Michigan State. Uh, I'm not sure if Boston's still on here. I gotta, we gotta go look. There's a lot of stuff that's still available. Florida, um, Clemson still available. 
Let's see. Oh, Boston University. There's still at Boston University. The t-shirt and the backpack sold out for Boston. And the shorts. The shorts are gone too. Shorts, shirt, and the backpack. Everything else is still available for Boston. Uh, oh shit, my bad, y'all. No, you're good. The actual uh, Cactus Jack merch looks dope, but I pass on this stuff. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, not gonna lie, if I was still in college and they still put that merch in the uh, the bookstore, I'm definitely grabbing a, a piece or two. Uh, uh, prices aren't bad when compared to everything in the uh, student store, B Smitty says. Yeah, facts though. Um, B use cook. Oh no, Raf, Rafi trying to read all these schools. Gonna be here for a while. Danny Moore blocked. Uh, blocked Rafi. Why do you have that burner account? <laughs> Why do you have that burner account? Yo, Raf, 20,000 points on flex gives you a chance on Cactus Jack. Yeah, I think it's an opportunity to win this. So I wanted to bring this up as well. Um, some people like sent this to me yesterday on, uh, you know, on via email. Um, Flex, Travis Scott, Jordan, Jumpman, Jack, Sales, Sweepstakes. Um, use X points to enter in this exclusive sweepstakes for a shot at this coveted Travis Scott collab. So basically, it looks like Flex is like giving away a Jumpman Jack. And I think it's like a certain amount of points uh, that you have to redeem in order to even enter, get a chance to win a pair for free. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I, I, I think... I don't know. Someone tell me because like I I saw it, but I, I didn't know for sure what they meant by it. Uh, where are the Kobe raffles base Maryland. If you join the discord group, um, we have a raffle channel. My friend, if you want to join that, uh, Brittany has been on top of that um, lately uh, when it comes to any of the Kobe raffles that we have here. Um, we have a raffle dedicate or excuse me, a channel dedicated for raffles. Uh, so if anybody wants to join the discord group, Brittany has been pretty much in, on top of it. So she's trying to, uh, for the Italian, Italian Kobe's, uh, the Phillies and also the, uh, the Kobe, uh, the Kobe eights as well for next week. So we have a bunch of raffles that are live right now. If you guys want to enter in, definitely take advantage of that, um, channel. Um, I might have to update some of it, uh, some of the, uh, links because we got to add a little bit more. Um, so uh, love you, Raph. What up, Marvy? Love you too, my guy. Appreciate you tapping in, man. Thank you so much. Uh, what's dropping today? Nothing really dropping today. The, today is going to be a chill stream. Um, but I did want to catch up with you guys with a couple stuff that are going to be dropping in the next couple weeks, though. So just, just, just be prepared for it. All right, just be prepared for it. All right. Um, you gotta pick. Uh, you gotta pick. You gotta be um. Okay, Shing, uh, cop and kicks, merchant up and rant. Uh, I can do the uh, veneers tonight if you want. Yeah, if you want to, Brittany, you're more than welcome to. You know, whatever helps out. Um, we're getting pretty good feedback on the uh, on the raffle channel, so a lot of people do appreciate you. Uh, you know, updating those uh raffles into that channel, so we do appreciate that. So thank you so much, Brittany. So make sure you guys take advantage of that because Brittany's working pretty hard on uh, making sure you guys are up to go are, are ready to go for next week for those Kobe's. I'm telling you guys this right now. The Kobe drop next week, Saturday is going to be a little bit different um, than usual. Like because people have been asking you, Ralph, why aren't the Kobe's loaded up? So, I mean, if we don't see the Kobe's loaded up by like next week, like midway next week, you know, Nike is up to something. So, um how's this name subscribe to uh sb rami that sounds like a reach there rami uh kobe dropping on the 13th italian camos 35k phillies 53k and venice beaches 166k stock loaded on sneakers at brian yes so it is going to be limited uh, next week for the italian camos and as well as the phillies and i've said this before right i've said this before okay all the kobe's that are going to be dropping this year are not going to be as available than a lot of people think i mean venice beach is obviously one kobe that's looks pretty widely available but still 166,000 pairs that's a good amount of pairs but at the same time the amount of kobe fans that are out there doesn't equalize the amount of pairs that they're dropping so it is going to be tough mostly for the ones that really want those italian camos i think out of the three colorways that seems like that is the very you know the popular colorway that most of you guys want so just be prepared that the kobe's next week are going to be very very limited all right i have fifty-three thousand points on flex i have zero points man i have zero points zero um all the travis scott merch is still on uh 
Fnatic too. Yeah, it is. It, they're all they're all still there. So like I said, if you're if you're still or if you're still wanting, um, you know, you know some you know some Travis Scott merch, college merch, you're more than welcome to go purchase if you want to. Uh, me personally, I pass on every single one of them because I'm not gonna buy something that I didn't you know, really um go to the college or whatnot. So I don't have family that went to any of those colleges. So I'm not gonna buy any of those. So I'm good uh flex uh 20 000, uh x points for the travis scott yeah it's a lot of points and i think this is a way like i don't know what flex is doing like i really don't know this is like such a stupid way to like promote their apps like they're whoever's running the flex app is like a bunch of idiots man i'm sorry to say like they're just a bunch of idiots dude like they're promoting the app terribly wrong like they gotta do better man they really gotta do better like they gotta do better if they're like all right if you want to put twenty thousand points in order to win a chance to win you know the travis got jump man jacks guess what if you lose you're never getting listen you're never you're never getting those points back that's the whole point you want to win you want to win some travis scott's for free and you want to spend all those points just to give you know put your name in the hat yeah good luck you're not going to get any of those. Listen, you're not going to get any of those points back. All right. It's a win lose situation in this, uh, in this, at this point, when it comes to that, like, this is so dumb. This is so dumb. Is that really a reason to get, uh, the shirt, uh, not to get the shirt. I didn't go to college. My parents didn't go to neither colleges, but the merch is dope. I mean, the merch is dope, but I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is, you know, because like, that's like any other like merch that Travis Scott drops in my personal opinion, you know, like if they drop like, okay, if they drop the Travis Olive or the Elkins merch, like there's certain stuff that I do like, but like specifically for this, like there's no reason why I need to buy it. You know, I got plenty of Travis Scott merch. I still got the Nike, uh, the Nike, uh, <laughs> uh you know some of the sweatshirts that i never wear um so i got plenty of travis merch so i'm not really worried about it so uh they should just sell uh raffle tickets um f foot locker and champs they will end uh they will end themselves i give the company a five years max before it dissolves i i almost agree with you man a lot of people have millions of points though raf they can afford to uh waste some i mean a lot of people do right a lot of people have but the thing is it's it's just not a good way to promote their app at all that's just my personal opinion like okay if you want a chance to win some travis's you know you got to spend twenty thousand points you know you have to earn twenty thousand points so is that a good way to like bring people into their stores to spend money and like that's just no benefit there there that's the whole point right it's it's the people that don't have points that could possibly benefit from this uh from this drop and like any drops in the upcoming future the reason why i've talked highly about it right and i've talked negative about the flex app in the last couple a uh, couple like even the last like two years it's because it's like it's not it doesn't really give anybody that has like low points really of a chance to hit on anything like Ever since I've been haven't hit on any of the GRs with my like flex points like that I had, I had like over like 300,000 flex points and I can't even hit on any of the GRs. Like it's so dumb. It's like you have to, they have to cater to like all the people that have like millions of points. Like it's so dumb. You know, versus like, you know, that's why I praise finish line in JD Sports because it's like it don't matter how many points you have. It doesn't matter if you're A-listed or if you're not A-listed. You know what I mean? Like you still have a high chance of hitting on EA. Like your chances on flex are extremely low. Um, is the Jordan 5 Metallics OG dropping this year? No. So we're, we'll bring that up here shortly. Um, at this point, Hibbits in City Gear is better than Flex. It is. Hibbit Sports, I've seen a ton of people that have Hibbit Sports accounts and hit all the time. Um, even on their drop, uh, drop days, uh, a lot of people tend to hit. Like, Flex is just... Dude, I told you, I don't know. I don't remember the last time I even bought anything from Foot Locker and Champ Sports, man. I use all my points on Starbucks e gift cards. Oh, gosh. Uh, ain't used flex in over three years. Trash facts, dude. And that's the reason why it's not even worth the worth the time. I rather I rather, you know, invest my money into an app that is constantly consistently going to give me W's um, even on the bigger GRs, you know, um, Let's see. Uh, what up? Uh, what up, Maddie? What's good? 
uh you're looking at it from a consumer consumer perspective if you own a business it makes sense uh you get to make money yeah you get to make money right i'm definitely looking at the consumer's perspective also a business perspective as well because i'm not i'm saying this because flex could be better is what i'm trying to say is all these years that they've been dropping shoes for how long for like dude a long time they've been dropping shoes for a very long time from doing tickets to introducing to the flex app where like they did when i quit champ sports i worked there for about like six seven years and i had quit right when they started the flex app which was the four digit code which i truly like the four digit code it was just not a convenience for some people um and then they end up turning this into a whole point system um and it was okay in the beginning but then like once everyone started realizing all right if you would get more points um and if you get more points the more points you have the higher the chances you'll get like you know i started spending more money and money and more money you know and then i couldn't even hit any in, in any of the bigger grs so it just doesn't make sense you know um in business aspect like if you want the little accounts to hit you know what i mean like cater to the people that haven't hit you know what i mean if that makes sense like they really don't so i just don't think they've made the web even the website the website's trash itself the website's garbage you have that running man queue for like how long that shit hasn't changed even though like finish shine and jd sports the only thing that really sucks about finish shine and jd sports is trying to get past the queue but other than that like the like the hit ratio for people actually hitting on exclusive access is extremely extremely high so that's what i'm trying to say um i used to hit sometimes on flex don't get me wrong but it just got worse from there so even though like i'll go in the stores and spend money and and there would be some grs i'll be sitting that i'll go ahead and pick up just to get some points but i still could never hit so um bro jd sports taking points off my status why i think they take points out of your status if it's not an active account so if you haven't bought anything within like over a year or something like that i heard that they start taking points away from the account so um let's see uh i used to hate jd sports finish line with their dude finish line yeah exactly like finish line jd sports used to be trash like their scratch like ticket stuff to see if you win or won or not dude i can never hit on those before i can never hit on those before finish line and jd sports q used to be so bad back in the day man like i remember going on finish line and jd sports q for the first time that was back in 2014 uh when i graduated high school um I was on a queue for, I forgot what shoe it was. I ha I still have it on Twitter, which is funny. And the queue used to be so bad. Like you could never get through, never. So uh, the fact that throughout these years, they finally, uh, you know, updated their stuff. Um, it's gotten a lot better. I mean, you realize how many JD sports stores they've been opening up around the US. I mean, they opened two JD sports out here in Seattle for the first time. So and there's a lot of other states that have been opening up more jd sports and you you see why and you look at champ sports and foot locker foot action's gone a lot of champ sports there's like four champ sports in my area that closed down i mean that kind of tells you why their freaking store is trash um let's see uh are the jordan 5 metallics also a raffle uh no so Ty uh tyler the jordan 5 metallics is something that we're, we'll definitely talk about and cover today um because uh they're set to drop next year in 2025 so it is a like more of a breaking news to some people that don't know about it so what up brian what's good i used to say it all the time on flex until bro like look back on the most recent like streams that we've covered for flex results you see all l's dude <laughs> you see all l's on the flex it's so bad i think the last uh flex results we went live for was what the kobe's reverse uh reverse grinches man the amount of l's that we saw was was bad <laughs> um uh spring 2025 yes sir jeffrey yes sir man uh no champs over here yeah they closed down like two to three champs out here in washington it kind of shows you like they haven't updated anything bro like i wouldn't be surprised if there's no uh excuse me there's no champ sports and there's just 
just foot lockers left. That's it. I could see it happening, man. I could definitely see it happening. Like the foot action just opened up in my area, like maybe like what, four years ago, five years ago. And that's pretty recent for them to open up a store. And they closed it down, what, two years ago? So they were only open for like three, three years. Uh, my Macy's still has a finish line also. New York Macy's is a tourist attraction, uh, Seaweed says. Yeah, I always lost flex and uh, let my points add up to 500k and started doing ship to me only and started winning every time. It's weird. Yeah, I mean, listen, ship to me was one benefit that I actually really like about flex and that really upped the chances for some people. And that's one that I really do like that they added. Like, I know I've been, I've kind of been a negative uh you know negative about the flex but still on the positive note like they them adding the ship to me option is definitely a good is a good option i really like that um because a ton of people actually hit on that so uh foot action was better than foot locker champ sports foot action i mean foot action i've hit on a, uh, on foot action a couple times um but foot locker it seems like champ sports and uh foot locker had the most stock when it came to sneakers um let's see a lot of my finish lines are closing up instead of they are opening them or jd sports yeah i don't know if it's gonna be like just a straight jd sports instead of a finish line but it, it seems like finish line and jd sports in my area are all, all connected because it's basically the same thing unless they just get rid of the name finish line and just keep it as jd sports but i really highly doubt it um my foot action and finish line always had the uh bricks rahu says last pay at full locker was um was 2016 okay um, there we go, Treyway. Um, Full Logger has been a, lo a long time ago. A lot of finish lines closing down instead of they are opening up more JD Sports. Yeah, two JD Sports opened up in Seattle, or actually one, and then I think another one is gonna open up at a different mall. It should be, I think it should be soon, um, because they've been they've been announcing that for a long time. They just opened up the recent JD Sports, like that's like thirty minutes away from me, like. Uh, two months ago i have snipes pop up everywhere uh snipes i think snipes is like um i think that's more of an east uh east coast store because i don't have any snipes in my area i yeah, i don't have any sign i think about it. yeah I have no, there's no snipes in like the west coast i don't think so i don't know People not going to respect those fives, but make sure you guys run it up real quick. All right, hit that like button real quick. All right, we kind of covered the uh, the flex. I mean, obviously, the Jumpman Jacks. All right, okay. I had a ton of questions yesterday. Let me tell you guys. My DMs were flooded, okay, about this Travis Scott's, and I had a couple homies hit me up about the Jumpman Jacks, okay? Jumpman Jacks, guys, like I told you guys, you will know, okay? I will let you know. I'm sure Ross will let you know. We will let you guys know when these Jumpman Jacks will drop, okay? Obviously, the Jumpman Jacks, we're not going to be dropping. Um, you know, if you've been following with the whole Travis Scott, uh, Cactus Jack stuff, it was always going to be Mitchell and Ness. There was no indication when the Jumpman Jacks were going to drop. So listen, guys, if you want to know when the Jumpman Jacks will drop, we'll definitely let you guys know. I promise you, and I've said this before, okay? Jumpman Jacks are Travis Scott's first silhouette with Jordan brand, okay? We've seen a lot of other collabs with Jordan 1s, Air Maxes, Air Force 1s, Jordan 1 Highs, Jordan 4s, all that. We've seen that in the last, like, 6, 10 years almost, right? We will let, I will let you guys know. Obviously, Ross will let you guys know for sure when the Jumpman Jacks will drop, okay? I'm telling you guys, when it's, the fact that it's his first silhouette, with the trap with excuse, excuse me with jumpman uh with jordan uh jordan brand they're gonna promote it they're definitely gonna let everybody know yo it's gonna drop soon da -da -da this you know what i'm saying obviously they had their first shock drop when it comes to the jumpman jack because they know it's his first silhouette so they wanted to hype it up but when it comes to the official drop, I promise you a lot of people will know about it because this is very important for uh, Travis Scott. You know what I mean? It's it's important for him. It's obviously important for their team um, that it's going to be his very first drop. So um, it, 
it should be an interesting drop and i'm sure a lot of people are very curious about when the shoe is going to drop but uh as of right now it looks like the end of april but i'm sure the travis scott um website will drop before the actual sneakers app drops so from what we're hearing from what i heard uh on the sneakers app drop it looks like as of right now they're only dropping under roughly around a hundred thousand pairs on the sneakers app i'm not sure if that's just specifically for the sneakers app or just kind of like you know worldwide type drop so um i i personally think the jumpman jacks are going to do pretty well it's obviously going to sell out his first silhouette and i think what their goal is here for the jumpman jacks just to have everyone to be able to touch a travis scott in general because i mean you've seen a lot of the leaks of the colorways i mean we've already seen like four or five different colorways for the jumpman jacks the red joints uh the green olives uh the black and brown joints that he wore like yesterday and the all white sail colorway as well that's going to be dropping so obviously the jumpman jacks seem like they're going to be widely available um and i don't think there's going to be necessarily resell too much resale aspect around the jumpman jacks i think it's one of those silhouettes where like you know since it's really difficult to hit on any other you know you know travis's that come out might as well just give him his own silhouette to have you know people at least somewhat hit on his shoes so um Let's see, uh, uh, remember the golf rap, Rappy, we'll know, we will, we'll know, <laughs> oh gosh, Eddie, uh, where are the fours drop in the Kobe's, uh, what fours are you dropping, or what are you talking about, uh, the Kobe's are going to be dropping next week, Saturday, next week, Saturday, the, uh, the Kobe's will be dropping, they're going to be staggered too, like the Kobe drop, from what I heard, is that that drop is going to be staggered, I don't, they, from what I heard, they're not going to get loaded up on the Nike sneakers app, but I guess we'll see what happens. All right. But anyways, let's move on real quick. Um, good news when it comes to the Jordan stuff. Um, shout out to Z Sneakerhead. Um, man, all I got to say is someone called it. I don't Someone in the chat called this. Okay. Someone in the chat. Someone in the chat called this. I don't know who did. But I remember having a conversation with you guys about this sneaker. And someone had brought up... What up, Jabba Hubo? What's good, dude? Someone brought up the shoe. What up, Crouton? And be like, yo, Raph, I hope we get this shoe next year. That other this. I, I remember this conversation. This was recently, too. So it looks like next year in 2025 in spring, we're getting the Air Jordan 5 OG Black Metallics. Um, Someone called it. <laughs> what up, Chalupa? What's good? He says, I called it, JK. <laughs> uh 71 uh k pairs on the jump man um rami says uh those black metallics fives are one of the best jordans ever um it's a it's a it's a very nice shoe for sure jordan five black metallic someone in here call it that these hopefully will drop next year and it looks like jordan brand is dropping them the one thing listen chat I, listen this is a great shoe okay a great shoe to drop Okay, I'm going to say this right now. Please do not make this reimagine. <laughs> Please. Best five by far. I think it's definitely top three for sure. Definitely top three Jordan five of all time. A hundred percent. Jordan brand. Do not make this a reimagine. All right. I don't want to see the netting yellow. I don't want to see nothing yellow around this shoe. Okay. Cause even the, even the soul, like just leave it the way it is, is all I'm trying to say. Like, please don't put aging souls on the shoe. It looks good the way it looks like. Uh, do you rock fives? I used to rock fives pretty heavy, but this one I might reconsider. Um, this one I might low-key reconsider, but we'll see what happens, man. My, my moods end up changing when it comes to fives. Um, I have like one pair of fives in my sneaker collection. The best five, one of the best fives got to be the off-white Jordan fives. One of my favorites. Oh, look, Parham's in here. Only good five is the off-white five muslin. See, I knew you were going to say something like that. Someone was going to say that because that is one of the best fives that they've dropped. That one is a really good five. Um, but no, this one, they can't mess this up, dude. I, I have a dude, I have a deep feeling that they're gonna make this a reimagined, man. I hate to say it, 
But I have a feeling that they low key might make this a reimagined because the whole reimagined series, I mean, Z Sneaker has kind of been updating throughout the uh, throughout the entire year, right? Like the Jordan Black Cement Jordan 3s, they said that that was possibly going to be a reimagined and they end up uh, what's it called? They end up changing last minute uh saying that it was just going to be a, just a regular Jordan 3 uh black cement so um I'm not sure I mean it is still far away it's still a whole year from now uh this is coming out during the spring so I don't know um let's see uh 23 on the side not the OG OG or nothing stop it if anyone does want the age look uh, I got the black off white fives if anybody wants for $500 Jamie says you know I used to have a pair of those fives I used to rock those heavy dude uh metallic five is the best Nike gonna mess it up as usual I mean we'll see I mean they they haven't brought you know they haven't dropped the great fives yet so hope they make uh um leather like the uh, bin 23 white laces two mo kick says I mean we'll see dude I mean uh Z sneaker said uh Z sneaker had said it's going to be a remastered on the post did he really say that did he say that on Instagram oh man it's oh, obviously a remastered a remastered v2 Air Jordan 5 OGs 35th anniversary uh oh it's the 2025 equals the 35th anniversary of the air jordan 5 nah uh i can't wait for the ogs to get mad and complain when these sit <laughs> oh gosh it looks like in next year is the 35th anniversary of the air jordan 5 so it looks like next year we might get a bunch of jordan 5s next year guys all I got to say, there's a, there's, there's some nice Jordan fives out there, but if it's the 35th anniversary of the Jordan five and all they do is drop Jordan fives. Oh man. I don't, it might not be looking good for, uh, for Jordan's next year. If it, all we see is Jordan fives. I mean, I don't mind the grapes, the white grapes, the purple grapes, you know, the, the black grapes, um, those ones, but there's, there's not many Jordan fives that I like, uh, to be honest, these ones are nice. Um, I like the off whites. The great fives are really nice. Uh, what else fives is out there? There's a ton of colorways. The fire red fives were really, really nice. Um, the cool grays recently that those dropped, those were pretty nice. Um, fire red fives with the, uh, the black tongue. Yes. Uh, I love fives. Uh, cushy soul says, give us the original. I just don't want the, uh, the slim down the upper part and the tongue on the fives. That's all. So you like the thick tongues. I love fives. You tripping, Jeffrey says. Not, I mean, listen, not everybody likes Jordan 5. I mean, there's a good amount of people that like Jordan 5s, but like in this generation, fives are just not everyone's ideal favorite silhouette. I mean, let's be honest here. Uh, but Jordan, there's certain Jordan 5 colorways that I that I, that I do like a lot. Uh, remember I told you guys, remember I told you guys that I I really love those poison fives when they dropped like back in like 2015. Those ones were nice too uh oreo fives what up chandler what up dude uh asia good morning what's good i'm an og don't care if they sit or don't as long as i get them uh scene lover says i bet you when they drop this it's gonna be like 220 bucks 220 bucks if these drop 220 bucks is that what we're looking at <laughs> 220 bucks is what we're probably gonna look like uh look at uh, on this shoe 220 bucks i got five on it uh pass on the fives that's just me though uh white metallic grape black grapes belairs db5 supreme fives fire red fives which supreme fives are you talking about because in my personal opinion out of the supreme fives the camel fives were my favorite the camel fives so you're right majority of the hypebees don't care about fives i like them though yeah they're nice they're nice organ fives were uh are so nice chalupa says i hope the um they redo the wolf grays you, the redo the wolf grays <coughs> max says and i will skip rent he says what up max what's good man <laughs> i had the um the michigan fives not too long ago like a couple years back when they dropped those were nice jordan five trophy rooms or what uh or the what the fives oh yeah i forgot about the trophy room fives you know what's so funny when the trophy room jordan fives had dropped nobody wanted them trophy room jordan fives were not going for anything in the resale market until like a little bit after the drop happened that shit shot up dude nobody wanted those jordan five trophy rooms dude it was crazy on fives laney fives are nice laney fives 
were my very first Jordan. All right. Laney Jordan 5s were my very first Jordan. If you know me, you know me. Good morning, homies. What up, Rocky? What's good, man? So Jordan 5s wave is coming. I mean, it's the 30th anniversary next year. So it, it's definitely Jordan 5s are probably going to be dropping next year. It's the 35th anniversary. So um, it, it, it's coming soon. Uh, Yancey says, you included. Yeah. <laughs> Tokyo fives, uh, Dornbecker fives are okay. Like I like the concept behind the Dornbecker Jordan fives, but the only thing that I don't like about it, it's like the material that they use around it. Like they use like all patent, what the all patent leather or something like that. But it's like the entire shoe glows in the dark. Reverse Laney's are fire. Okay, uh, what the fives look like clown shoes. I was not a big fan of the um the uh, what the fives was not a big fan of those. Was not a big fan of those. Telling you, man, the poison fives. Y'all sleep. Those are nice. Uh, white metallics are always a classic, too. White metallic fives. But uh, these are set to drop next year, spring of 2025. Um, I'm sure that towards the end of the year, like, I feel like by the end of this year, 2024, we are 100% going to find out what's going to be dropping for the rest of the year in 2025 and watch it just be a bunch of jordan fives dude gore-tex fives are fire okay reverse laney fives laney and jordan fives were dope laney fives laney jordan fives are a classic i think those are nice i used to hoop in those shoes trophy room fives were tough are tough yeah the friends and family joins uh chandler that one was nice the red colorway was really really nice what was the um no 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 um, what was that soccer team that they did a collab with La like it was back in 20 uh, 2018 or 2019 it was the uh, Jermaine is it the St. Germain fives the friends and family one it was nice even the shoe in general was actually pretty nice the St. Germain's I don't know if you guys remember those it is it kind of looks similar to the um, uh, the black metallic fives but not similar uh paris saint germain's i think psgs yeah the psgs those ones were nice the all white ones were really really nice especially those were those ones go for a lot of money uh the fours and the fives i still think the fives were a little bit better than the fours in my opinion the fours were like the maroon colorway wasn't it uh the fours were better low-key i think the fives were nice they stopped the uh the ball on the uh the green beans uh, fives, in my opinion, are probably the best put together uh, shoe by Jordan Brand. Materials, quality, and all. Uh, it was actually a pretty light shoe too. When the PSG Jordan Fives had came out, I ended up hitting on the Nike sneakers app, and like the weight of the Jordan of the sneaker was actually pretty light. Rumors of the Jordan Fives are getting an update similar to the Jordan Four. You can see a lot of classics come back next year, including a reimagined version of the Fives. So that's the thing. Like, and I hate to say it, but we're going to get a <laughs> we're going to get a reimagine every single year. We're probably gonna get like two reimagines every single year like two of them what's what's the reimagined this year the reimagined jordan 4 breads and what's the other one the reimagined the reimagined jordan 1 high uh bread toe is what we're getting this year too so listen we're gonna we're gonna get listen we're gonna get jordan's uh jordan reimagines twice a year so uh you really can't skate in jordan 5's homie uh well imagine that what you're talking about if they came out with like an sb jordan 5 oh man let's all bring out the jordan 4 sb or jordan 5 sbs and i promise you if they came out with it listen if they came out with a jordan 5 sb and hey, let me tell y'all something people are gonna come out in the woodwork saying jordan 5 is a sneaker of the year is all i'm trying to say dude come on man can let's can we all can we all agree here if they had came out with the Jordan, the Jordan Five SB, come on, man! Uh, sne sne Ravi sneaker of the year, bro. Ravi SB, SB Jordan Five sneaker of the year. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I. Especially if it's green. Yeah, I. 
Jordan 5 SB I would pass. Yeah, people would say sneaker of the year. Come on, man. I, we'll, we'll, we'll all of a sudden see like, oh, I'm a, I'm a huge Jordan 5 though, Raph. I'm a huge Jordan 5 fan though, Raph. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I wasn't seeing you buying all those other fires that were dropping the last three years. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Come on, can't you guys all admit though? You were gonna be glazing the Jordan 5 so heavy. I got one YouTuber in mind who will be glazing the SB Jordan 5, Evan Wilson says. Get this man an oxygen uh, mask, uh, our tank. Oh gosh. I haven't got time today. It's true though, dude. It's true. Uh, why is that an old person voice? I don't know, straight to tell. I kind of made that up. Water, Sandy, water. All I was joking, I did a pick skating back up, teach my daughter. I don't know what the next SB, uh, SB collab would be. And to be honest, let me tell you guys something. It's got to be a Jordan 1 high. I am, I am wanting a Jordan 1 high. Okay, I'm going to say this now. Jordan brand Nike. Bring an SB Jordan 1 high. Okay. Bring back... The way, not even the wave, but like the love that everyone used to have for Jordan 1s. Okay. The love for Jordan 1s are not there anymore. Now, let's, let's go back to it. Yeezys are over. Yeezys are done. Okay. Everybody's saying they're passing on SB Dunk Lows now. Let's bring back a timeless silhouette that everyone used to love. Okay, Jordan 1 High SB. Do it. Bring it. <laughs> not happening, SB Rami. Rami, you don't know shit, Rami. Rami, what do you mean not happening? Hey, it could, it could happen. It could happen. No, keep the highs. <laughs> Only SB can save the ones. <laughs> Too soon, Raph. Let's uh, let ones chill. Listen. All right. I feel like it would be easy for Jordans to make an SB Jordan one low. Bring back K Swiss Jordan three SB less than 20 K in stock. So everyone would go for them. No need to do something with the, the 11s. We are uh, the 11s collabs or something. Let me tell you something guys. All right. It's, it's officially Jover. If Jordan brand ends up bringing an SB Jordan, Jordan 11. I don't know what the hell. I think if they, they they'll never do that. That wouldn't make any sense. If they did like a Jordan 11 SB collab, that would just be that would make no sense. Zero. Nike and Jordan brand, if they did that, they would officially they're officially confused. They are officially confused if they did that. Officially confused. It's Jover. <laughs> no need a Dragon Ball Z SB. I mean, there's so many collabs that you could think of. Listen, there's so many collabs you could think of when it comes to SB dunks. Like, there's so many, right? So many. <laughs> Let's make it a uh, an R4 season. Uh, there hasn't been a collab with 11. No, there's only been a Jordan 1 low, a Jordan 1 high. Um... What else? Jordan 4. Uh, the upcoming Air Maxes, right? What else was a, a collab with SB? Ravi just created a new word. No, I just said Jover because like, uh, what's it called? When we were playing fantasy basketball in NBA and uh, someone was going up against somebody that had Jokic and he was like, well, I'm up against uh, Jokic this, uh, this week. It's Jover. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I said that I wouldn't mind an SB Jordan five, to be honest. I don't know if you can, can you, is it even comfortable to even skate on a Jordan four? Like, let's be honest here. I just don't see anyone skating in a Jordan four. I just don't. Someone tell me that whoever skated in a Jordan four is actually pretty comfortable. Like I, I just, I don't see myself kick pushing a skateboard on it with a Jordan four is all I'm trying to say. Okay. Like I said, I, I'm not a skateboarder like that. I'm not going to sit here thinking I, I know how to skate, but like it, it doesn't, 
doesn't sound comfortable. Uh, they got to bring back uh, the days with the uh, the spinners. Uh, you can skate fours. It'll be comfortable to resell, Parham says. With the new build, yes, Super K says, meaning he's near uh, near end. Yeah. Uh, Jordan 1 or 3 would make the uh, most sense. Uh, the skaters at my local skate uh, skates in the uh, in the fours and loves it. Yeah, I don't know. I just I didn't think about it. it's like, hey, go ahead and uh, use the um, the bread Jordan four. Can you skate in those? I don't know. What's going on with the black metallics? Adrian says they're gonna be dropping next year spring. My guy, they announced it. Did you ever see the Complex Sneaker Podcast? They interview the people that Nike hired to test the SB and they wore it for three years just skating the shit out of it Jay Million says I did not Jay Million I did not but the great SB4 is fine not the old heart ankle uh biting heel tab Chris Soul says I SB East versus West colorways uh, I wore my breads around my non sneakerhead friends and he said they look like oh my gosh um I don't know man I don't know what the next SB that people are going to be like, oh my gosh, the Jordan SB is here. You know, when, what's the next one? I'm telling you, it should be a Jordan 1 high. I skated my fours, and I only uh, have six toes in total. Oh my goodness, dude. You know what I always fear when I was, uh, when I was, uh, I wanted to skateboard when I was younger? Uh, because me and my homie, uh, Brand Flakes TV, if you guys want to check him out on YouTube. We used to skateboard in sixth grade before, before every time before school, we'd uh, try to ollie over a, a four by four piece of wood. And like my fear was that the skateboard would pop up, right? You know how like you pop up the skateboard and it just lands on the crack of my ass, dude. That was like one fear that I had. Have you guys ever watched uh, Ridiculousness? Like you see those crazy ass videos, dude. I can't watch that shit no more, dude. My dad used to watch the shit out of that show all the time. Um, when I was in high school, but whenever you do an ollie or some sort of trick and then you land behind the skateboard lands behind your ass and then that shit lands on your ass cheek or your ass crack. That is my fear. That is my ultimate fear. That shit would happen to me where you did a, and you're up in the air and the freaking skateboard just goes vertical on you. <laughs> like, no, no, no. That is what I would fear to do if I was uh, if I wanted to skateboard like a popsicle. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 not like a popsicle. No, 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 no. Um, it could happen, dude. It could happen. Ravi didn't want to become. Yeah, dude. No, 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 no. I remember one small ass uh, pebble got stuck in my uh, trucks and uh, set my ass flying. Jamie says <laughs> it doesn't feel good. Can uh, can confirm. Uh, wood and crack, wood, wood and crack of your ass. What's on your mind, Rav? Assad, relax. All right. <laughs> um, poor baby is afraid of the gooch killer. Listen, that shit don't feel fucking good. What do you mean, poor baby? Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? That shit don't feel good. All right. Have you have you ever got kicked in the have you ever got kicked in the balls? Does that feel good? Do you like it when you get kicked in the balls? You like you guys do you like getting kicked in the asshole? Like, you know what I mean? Like, that shit don't feel good, dude. What do you mean? It's not that I'm scared. That shit don't that shit hurts. <laughs> I know this is mad random, but does anyone know a fire red fours from 2020? I feel like uh, the sizing of those shoes are killing on my feet. It's because the leather, Evan. It's because the Ev it's it's because it's because the uh, the leather, Evan. Uh, shout out to media. Shout out to media for the five. No fear like being behind a semi hauling wood after watching uh, Final Destination. Media says. <laughs> Shovel boy media for the five dollar donation, man. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. That shit don't that that shit hurts. That's some on some Meek Mill ish. I, it's not sus. It's just just being real. Um. <laughs> oh goodness. Uh, I wore metallic fives for five years. Best shoe ever made. Matt says. There you go. 
Here's my Filipino auntie. Here's Look Auntie Siri. Like being behind a semi volume wood after watching Final Destination. Uh, oh, I tried breaking it in, but it hurts my feet. Evan Wilson says, "Yeah, it's definitely the uh, the leather." Um, I wore metallic fives for five years. Best shoe ever made. There you go. Do you still have your pair, uh, Matt? Do you still have your pair? You guys are crazy, man. That whole Diddy. You guys are still. You guys. The, the whole. The whole no Diddy crate is like that phrase. You guys ain't over that yet. The no Diddy fa uh, phrase. You guys ain't over that yet, or what? No Diddy. No Diddy. Excuse me. No Diddy. He says. Mama collects on the uh, recording. oh my goodness anyways back to uh back to what we're saying no ea for the fours on finish line today uh that was yesterday jerry jerry the jordan four ea was yesterday that was yesterday that was yesterday what up rob what up dude looks like i'm on near fives now with the yellow Guys, remember, we got to remember and recon uh, not consider, not reconsider, but just know that today is Friday, right? I heard the recording of Meek and Diddy. What? Uh, remember, guys, it's Friday. All right, remember that. I can't confirm what Matt said. He's my brother, dude. He's uh, 300 plus pounds, more than in any circumstance possible, is that he's still clean. Uh, shout out, my boy, media! <laughs> shout out, my boy, media, for the 10 gifted. Shout out, my boy, media, for the 10 Rafi Collects memberships in the chat there you go make sure you guys are thanking media in the chat all right make sure you thank media in the chat shout out my boy media for the 10 gifted i appreciate that w media uh easy pod's been removed uh price went up is anybody still you're still waiting for your easy pods Media, the go facts. Shout out my boy, Media. Media was the one that helped me get my uh, my springs. So shout out my boy, Media. Dude, I appreciate that. I get that tomorrow. Also, I'm going to be working on my car today as well. I'm super excited about it. Uh, not the recording that will destroy your dreams and uh, give you a nightmare, as Assad says. Too much on Twitter. Remember remember that? So who was in here that said that, like, uh, that said that TikTok is worse than Twitter? Someone said that. TikTok was worse than Twitter. I was on I was on Twitter yesterday and I was looking at basketball stuff, press the post, scroll down. And I wish I never did it. Never got my Yeezy order. I should just cancel. You're still waiting on your Yeezys? What the hell, man? Yeah, yeah, I get my spoiler in today, JS Mom. I'm actually planning to maybe vlog it, but we'll see. Dude, you're still waiting for your Yeezys? Which Yeezys are you still waiting for? What the heck is going on with like with shipping with Adidas? I'm still waiting for my Yeezy pods. Emailed and asked, and they said they have no idea when they will re fulfill my order and have to wait. <laughs> what? Did they really say that? <laughs> That's great. That's a crazy response. I'm not gonna hold you, Jess. I'm waiting for my Easy Pods. Emailed and asked, and they said they have no idea when they will fulfill my order and have to wait. That is crazy. The twenty dollar drop. Oh, gotcha. You're talking about the Easy Pods. Okay, okay, I gotcha, gotcha, I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That is crazy. The fact that you guys are still waiting is insane. You don't love you, my boy. Mine uh, came in like the next day, Max says. Well, I think ever since they like bumped the price to like $20, they probably had like a traffic of people just spending 20 bucks on the Yeezy Pods. 
That's what it was. Y'all hear the J. Cole response? I'm going to listen to it today at the gym. That's the delay just socks. That's what I'm saying. I mean, at least you didn't spend 200 bucks. Okay? It's 20 bucks, right? You know what I mean? It's not like you don't, it's not like you're, I mean, obviously you're losing 20 bucks, but it's not like you spent like hundreds of hundreds of dollars on these Yeezy socks. And then like, I would be hella worried, but like 20 bucks, I'm just like, all right, I'll see it when I see it. But I'd be worried if you had spent like 200 bucks on those Yeezy pods. Imagine waiting three months for socks with, uh, with soles. Hey man, it was only 20 bucks. That's what I'm trying to say. It would be different. It was like 200 bucks. Uh, you got four pairs and waiting. Ollie, what are you going to do with four pairs of Yeezy, uh, Yeezy socks, dude? You got four pairs of Yeezy pods? That's crazy. Four pairs? Is it even on StockX? Hold on. Don't tell. Oh, they are. No wonder why. No wonder why a bunch of people bought this shit, dude. No wonder why people bought it. No wonder why. This is my first time looking at it on StockX. Is this it? Oh. <laughs> I didn't even know they come in sizing like that. I think it's one, the what size U.S. six to an eight and a half, two twenty three. I could get some from uh, Baba uh, by now. Don't put the uh, evil on me. <laughs> you'll be uh, you'll be uh, you'll be stupid to buy it for resale. Yeah, imagine imagine paying 223 bucks, dude. That's insane. The fact that people bought two, I mean, listen, you can do whatever you would you want with your money, but I would not spend 200 bucks on this. They're expensive on StockX because ain't nobody got them yet. That's probably what it is. If the people already have their uh, Yeezy socks in, their Yeezy pods in, you might as well just move it, dude. Just make yourself a profit, move on with it. You know? F it. So what are you gonna what are you gonna do with it? You know what I mean? Like I feel like it's gonna be one of those where like I'll probably just wear it once just to show you guys, and you'll probably never see me wear it again. Like there's no way that, there's no way in hell that my my girl would tell me like, all right, babe, like go ahead and wear those. Like I'm I'm sure she probably won't judge me. Oh, no, I think she will judge me. She'd be like, what the hell are you wearing? <laughs> Uh, still haven't got mine like the rest of the world. My Yeezy pods are uh, are are uh, gonna tell you, man. All right, hey man, that's what I'm saying. All right, we all we all here, you know, saying yo, support yay, support yay, I support yay, whatever da 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 this. Well, yeah, all right, yeah, all right. <laughs> I support yay in different ways, but like. <laughs> <laughs> man um well anyways let's move on to the next subject Futuras SB Dunk Low is confirmed to be releasing next month in May with a secondary colorway a second colorway possibly releasing to the public this will be retailed at $135 and expect release through sneakers and skate shops boom 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 Futuras, SB Dunk of the Year for y'all or what? This right here. Let me know. Copper drop. Two different colorways is I thought that was a friend and family from from what it looks like. Um, but I'm not 100 percent certain. Futuras, copper drop. Man, next month about to be wild. Oh, it is. You got Futuras. You got what else do we got? We got military blues. We got what J Balvin's. Oh man. Next month's about to be stacked. 
Morning, morning. What it up, gang? What up, Jeremy? Woo! What up, dude? Good morning. What do y'all think about this, man? Bye. This is listen. I'm gonna say this right now. I'm gonna say this to you guys, and I'll be, I'll, I'll be, you know, I, you know, I'm honest. Regardless, f it, fuck it. This is the most underrated SB, or excuse me, overrated SB I've ever seen. Now I'm playing. It's not the most overrated, but I'm not a big fan of this shoe chat. If anybody needs help on a size, I got y'all. Anybody want these? I'll go for your size on sneakers app. Anybody need these? Travis Canary also. Hey, Jose, you're not wrong. They're okay. They're nothing crazy. What, what would I rather have? The Travis's or these SB's? I don't know what I would want. We'll try all them on the uh, for hubby, and I'm good. Hot take incoming. No, I'll go for someone's size. I'll sell. I'll sell for to you guys for retail. I'll sell to you guys for retail. Seriously, I'll sell to you guys for retail. Store has be ten times better with the white laces. Look it on on Google Raf. No, no, it don't matter, man. Like I just. I don't really dig the colors is what I'm trying to say. What up, Drax? What's good, man? I just don't dig the colors, you know? That's that's it. That's all. You see you see what I mean, chat? Okay, you guys are just saying, yeah, cool, that's fine, Raph. Go ahead and pass. All for us. Whatever. But you get people in here. Sometimes they'll be like, yo, Raph, you're crazy. Da-da-da this. This colorway is fire. You're sleeping. You don't know nothing about sneakers. Da-da-da this. Bro. It, remember and then when it comes to like a hype shoe that i actually like you know i'll be like oh man this shoe is dope da -da -da. y'all raf you're just a hype beast you're just glazing the shoe you're over hyping the shoe it's because it's limited da -da -da this listen i told you guys it doesn't matter what shoe it is whether if it's limited or if it's a gr i'll put my honest opinion on it okay i just want to put a stamp on that okay this I'm telling you, I've been saying this since day one. And if you guys have been following the streams every single day, I've been keeping the same energy about this sneaker. Ever since ever since it came it came out, I still put my own opinions on certain shoes, whether it's limited or GR. I like what I like. You you ain't sleeping, you tweaking, Breeze says. So why not just say the color? Uh you don't like the color? I mean I did. I've been saying that. I just don't like the colorway. I just don't like the colorway. You know, I just don't like the colorway. Kobe, uh, Venice beaches are kind of the uh, same colors though. But the thing is, that's a difference between rocking something casually, um, JS mom versus something that you only wear on the court. Like those Kobe's it's because it's a re -retch. It's, it's basically they're, they're coming out with a shoe again that I used to like, you know, back in the day when they did come out with the Venice beaches, that's different rocking something on the court versus rocking something casually. You're not going to see me. You're not going to see me rocking Kobe's, you know, those certain Kobe's for, you know, casual wear. I'm rocking those to the gym, to the court, whatever the case is, you know? So, and Kobe's and dunks are just two different things, two different shoes, uh, meant for two different things. So um they're nice but i'm passing yeah i like the colorway hunter says um using the sb uh pars abstract color yeah like the thing is with the whole blue laces i'm not a big fan of like the sole i'm not a big fan of uh don't like them because of the that slight shade of green oh my gosh hunter relax all right it's not there's like there's like barely green on this shoe i see more blue than green All right. I like that pair since day one. Yeah, I mean, like, listen, I'm willing to go for um for someone else's size. Like for me, I'm not a big fan of the colorway. That's all. But like this one right here. Hold on, let me show you all. This colorway, if they drop a general release, this one's not too bad right here. This colorway, this 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 orange yellow colorway this one is not too bad i like this colorway a little bit better than the uh the blue one uh i'll get it for trade bait okay 
Rappy Help Me Out uh, has been my favorite uh, graffiti artist. LOL. Uh, new year, new color to hate, King James says. <laughs> Come on, man. You know what? Rappy, look me in the uh, first seven and a half uh, men's, please. Assist me on these rap ten and a half. Dude, I'll, I'll go for the most stock. All right. And then I'll go for the remind me of the that you know what? Drip, that's act you know, you're not wrong, Drip King. These really kind of remind me a little bit about the of the Paris dunks in a way. Uh, they're they're nice. They're okay. These ones are not bad. These are not bad at all. But I agree with you. It kind of gives you like um uh, a Paris uh, dunk vibe in a way. I I all dude, I 100 percent agree with you. Uh, what's dropping? What up, Russell? Nothing's dropping today, my guy. We're just kind of we're just hanging out, talking, yapping. You know what I mean? What up, John? The uh, the flums uh, were uh, were brown. Street hawker vibes, dude. The street hawkers were nice, dude. I I remember the street hawk hawkers when they first dropped. That was back in twenty what twenty twenty or twenty twenty one. The street hawkers. These were like five hundred bucks, I believe, when they first dropped. I think. Yeah, these ones are nice. Yeah, this says uh, 367. These definitely went down in the resale dramatically. But these ones right here are not bad at all. People are like, oh, that's the what the SB is. No. These ones are nice. When does it release? Uh, these ones release in May. They're releasing in May. No, 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 you're good, you're good. They released in May. One of the few uh, few times retail pair is better than friends and family. Really? You don't like the friends and family pair? You think the um, you think the GR pair, Parham, is better than the friends and family? Just traded for a pair of street hawkers last week. Clean shoe. It is. It really is. I think it was, um, what's it called? The street hawkers were like, the story behind it was like the, um, uh, like the street vendors like something about the street vendors um that's why they mimicked it that was the story behind the street hawkers i think um i need the street hawkers because she still says even though i have the alma near fives i'm high for these black metallics joel says there you go i'm pretty sure chef ian said the orange pair is going to be a friend and family limited to 250 pairs so that means no one's touching a pair that means nobody's touching a pair of those friends and family joints. That's probably going to cost like well, how much? It's probably going to cost thousands of dollars just to get your hands on that pair. What up, Joel? What up, man? Good morning, my friend. Appreciate you tapping in. What up, dude? What's good, dude? Appreciate you tapping in. Make sure you guys, if you don't mind, run that up real quick, man. I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me on a Friday, man. Thank goodness it's Friday. Smash that like button, man. All right, let's get to 150 likes. If you're ghost watching this morning, smash that like button. I love y'all. If you're ghost watching, if you're just commenting here and there, type in here and there. I still appreciate you guys regardless um, because I know you guys are here just hanging out um, on a Friday. You know what I mean? On a Friday. So make sure you guys run it up real quick, man. I, it's, it's greatly appreciated if you guys do, man. Thank you guys so much. All right. But no, I'm sure a lot of you guys are excited. It's going to be, an, it seems like it's going to be an expensive month if you only hit, you know, on the month of May. Like there's a lot of stuff that are going to be dropping, right? We got a pop, probably a shock drop on the military blue fours next year or next month. We got the street, excuse me, not the street, the Futuras. Um, you know what? There's going to be some people in here that will take an L on the military blue force. There will be. There will be, let listen, there will be some people that will take an L on the shock drop there'll be some people that will will not hit on finish line in jd sports and there will be some people that will not hit on the nike sneakers app drop so with this like 1 million pairs that is rumored to drop uh next month for the military blue fours just know the demand for the shoe is going to be extremely high all right murder bx for the 25 month re-up my guy thank you so much for your constant support shout out to my boy murder bx for the 25 month re-up appreciate that my guy Ho hopefully everything is well with you and the family murder thank you so much for your constant support here at the collection family my friend and hey, dude i won't be one of them dude all of you guys should be able to hit every single one of you guys are in this chat right now I don't want to hear no excuses to why you didn't hit on the military blue force. I don't want to hear no excuses. But if you do wear like a size 12 and a half, maybe a 14, 13, 
maybe we could reconsider. But there should be a lot of opportunities for you guys to buy a pair. Definitely securing a pair, Chris says. Um, but shout out to my boy, a murder BX. Thank you so much for the 25 month Rhea, man. I appreciate that. Uh, well, they're not military blues, so no loss. RPK says industrial blue. It doesn't matter. Industrial blue. I just need one pair, to be honest. Like I've been saying, like I need a double up, but that double up will probably stay on ice and then probably use it as trade bait later down the road. But military blues easily going to be a nice little summer shoe. So Birdo, what up, dude? Good morning to you, my friend. Appreciate you tapping in. What up, man? What up, man? Uh, de definitely securing a pair. I'm sure everybody in here should. Everyone in here should secure up your, yourself a pair. So, um, it's still high in demand. Uh, did they say exactly the J Balvin's? Hold on. Was J Balvin's officially? The Space Shams. These are dropping in May. Isn't the J Balvin supposed to drop in May too? I don't know if there was a specific date for the J Balvin's. I feel like J Balvin's high key are going to get pushed back. That hasn't really been like too much of a, a talk about the J Balvin's too much. I have a feeling that might drop in June. That probably will get pushed back. People that just depend on the Nike sneakers app are the ones taking L's. Armando, uh, Armando, Armando, you're not wrong. Uh, J Balvin's are going to be a 2250. Yeah, probably. No, um, no, J Balvin's, I think, is going to be 225. I think. J Balvin's are going to retail at $225, I think. I think. 422, the Balvin's? No. Or May or April? May 22nd? Okay. May 22nd? Okay, May 22nd? Okay. May 22nd for the Balvins. See? You got Balvins. You got Military Blue Fours. You got the Futuras. What else do we got in May? We got the Jordan 11 Space Jam Lows. I don't know if you guys are hyped over those. What else do we have in May, chat? We got a lot of stuff in May. And then watch. June and July... Dude. Oh, yeah. We also have Travis's. Oh, man. We got Travis's in May. And then June, July is going to be so dry. June and July was like really bad last year. Now, this is Military Blues on the box. Jay Sneakerhead did a review on them. Check it out. Yeah, we have already seen his review. Travis's, J Balvin's, Futura's, Military Blues. Damn. I mean, that's only four shoes, but golly, that's a lot of drops, man. That's going to be a lot of drops, man. A lot of drops and a lot of L's for me. Watch. Got mad shoes in May. Birthday, wedding, anniversary. May is always late for the Gomez uh, household. Um, About to spend all my uh, birthday money on sneakers. May is my birthday. It's crazy, dude. This year's went... I'm not going to lie to you. Like... This is obviously my daughter's first year of school. And the fact that kindergarten is flying for her. Oh, man. I got one more year chat. And then I'm going to have both my kids in school. Crazy. Or actually, my youngest daughter. So Rose is going to be in first grade. Riley don't go to school until the year 2025 into 26. Man. the year This year is going by quick. I'm not going to hold y'all. We're already in April. We're already in April chat. Can't afford this shit, Berto says. I mean, if you hit, sure. But like, it's not like, you know what I mean? Like, what are the odds of hitting every single sneaker next month that you want? What are the odds of hitting military blue fours? Your odds are extremely high. Travis's might be a little low. Um, depending how lucky you get on the Nike sneakers app. Uh, J Balvin's. I don't know. I feel like the J Balvin's might be a hit and miss for some people. Um, and then we have the Futuras. I feel like Futuras, I don't know. Futuras, I don't know how limited those are going to be. I feel like they're going to be tough to get. Um, same here, Kindergarten is just flying by. I know facts, dude. Big facts, though. I don't know. Um, always first time for everything. Uh, July, I'm getting those uh, first and flight 
I'm in July. I'm getting those first in flight ones. What are those, uh, Brittany? The first in flight ones. You don't like those, uh, what's it called? Yo, Brittany, you don't like these foil, you don't like these foil, uh, Jordans? You don't like these? I'm gonna ask you guys something. Copper drop on this shoe. Copper drop. This is like if you like this is like what's those um what's those Jordan 1 highs chat that dropped a couple years back? It's like those um was it the silver uh silver toes? What are those called? What were what were those what are the silver toes? Drop, drop, pass. I'm well. I'm glad that you guys are saying drop because this is two packs of ass, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Remind me of the silver toes everyone was bashing on. <laughs> Coach JP, Tin Man ones. Whoever got this idea must be fired. <laughs> Uh, Martin says they're not bad. Martin, I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, if you have some sort of like different style of fashion, sure, but I don't know. Is it was it called the Silver Toes? The silver toes were way better than those. No, yeah, there's nothing alike. Now that I think about it, silver toes weren't too bad. They look, they look aight. Men's eight one. These are under retail. Uh, I guess some brotherhoods, Air Jordan one high, dude. Brotherhoods were such good quality. Those are the second place uh, drums. <laughs> Make some pieces, says. Brittany, for the two, check your phone. All right. Let's see what you sent me. Oh, you're talking about these. You're talking about these, Brittany. Oh, yeah, the, the, what's it called? The Obsidians? What's it called? The, uh, the Reverse Obsidians? Shout out to Brittany. Thank you so much for the $2 donation. I appreciate it. Some shoes look better on feet. Wasn't these, uh, the shoes that made everyone want them to, uh, them to TikTok? I don't know. I mean, it's crazy because there's so many women's exclusive. Like, don't get me wrong. There's some good women's exclusive. Some of them are okay. Some of them are whatever. Like, you could still, like, these, like, the Jordan 4s that are going to be dropping tomorrow. Listen, I think bigger sizes might sell out, but I'm not sure. Does anybody know what the uh, the stock count on that is for the uh, for the Jordan 4s uh, Vivid Sulfurs? What's the stock count on that, if anybody knows? These ones are going to, excuse me, these are going to sell out. The uh, the D books, I think those are gonna be a sellout. Uh, the woman's ones drop in July. Okay, I think that, yeah, I think that's what uh, Brittany was saying. Kobe Mamacita Shadow ones, uh, Space Jam Eleven lows, uh, Elkins Red Taxi Twelve Military Fours Latte ones. Wow, Latte wait, Latte ones are dropping next month. I, I forget, I forget about that one too. I forget about those. The Latte Jordan One highs, huh? Dude, I cannot wait for this slow top. I'm telling y'all this. I'm. I, this is gonna be on my top five sneaker of the year. I'm. I'm saying it right now. Top five sneaker of the year. You guys ready? Let 
What up, JV? What up, dude? Top five sneaker of the year. Check your phone. Check your phone. Yes, Siri. Check your phone. Top five sneaker of the year. I cannot wait for this shoe. This, I'm going to be rocking the shit out of this shoe, man. I'm telling y'all. I rock, I rock my, uh, my, my black toes are my most worn Jordan one right now or Jordan in general. I wear my Jordan one, uh, black toes lows all the time. Put some cream laces on them. The nice, but not top five. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Top five sneaker of the year with some cream laces. I'm gonna beat them to the ground. Um, not, not <laughs> no, not a double up. No, not a double up. <laughs> uh, Ravi saying cream laces in three, two, one. Cream lace alert. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 100%. You're gonna get, yo, listen, you're gonna get, yo, you're gonna get people, listen, you're gonna get people swapping the laces to pink. You're gonna get, no, 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 you gotta get, you gotta get either the white laces or the just cream laces. The cream laces with them Jordan 1 lows are gonna be nice. All right. Hey, I know balls sometimes. All right. These are nice, dude. I know it sound looks basic, whatever, but I like it. One to be and one to cr Oh my god, right. Relax. Relax. All right. Well, I'm already naming my top 5. This is the best Jordan. Oh, never mind. I'm not going to even say it. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Relax, never mind. All right, top five sneaker of the year. Sneaker of the year, military blue fours. Sneaker of the year. Number two, Travis Jordan one low olives. All right, that's number two. Number three, bread fours. Number four, uh, Venice Beaches, Kobe eights. Number five, Mocha ones. My top five sneaker of the year. There you go. It's all Jordans. No SBs are probably going to be on that list. Unless they come out with some crazy SBs that end up like end up blacking this year. Well, actually, no. Time out. Hold on. We forgot to put the black cement Jordan 3s on there. We might have to kick the Kobe's off there. Or we might have to kick these off. No, we might have to kick the Kobe's off. We might have to kick the Kobe's off on that top five. It's all going to be Jordans this year, chat. It is. It does. That's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like. Jordan, Military Blues, Travis's, uh, Black Cement 3s, Bread 4s, and Mocha 1 Lows. I, I had to... I had to... I had to step back for a second. I had to step back for a second. Do you guys hear my stomach, dude? My stomach sounds like it's hungry. Uh, those mochas are a double up worthy. I don't know about a double up. Uh, black, no, 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 no. Black cat fives, not going to be on my top five. You going to put black toes? I don't know if I'm going to put black toes on my top five. Maybe. I don't know. It's tough. But I honestly think, no, gammas are not dropping this year. Gammas are not dropping this year. Okay, timeout. I always try to put, listen, I try to put my top five. I don't know how you guys organize your top five. I kind of go base my top five by like what I would wear the most. Okay, what I would wear the most, what I like, and I kind of put two to two together. That's how I like. You know what I mean? Black toes were last year. No, no, no. We're talking about the... They're talking about the reimagines. They're basically pandas with brown on the back. Come on, Ralph. Let me cook real quick, dude. <laughs> Let me cook. 
Let me cook for a second. Um, where are the Kobe raffles? Azu says, uh, if you want to join the discord group, go under raffles. We got all Kobe raffles on the discord group. If you want to join up here, I'll give you the link real quick. It's under raffles. That's why I told everyone to utilize the raffle uh, channel on discord. So you guys can enter all the raffles that is there. Uh, Jesus. I forgot about the, uh, the fear fours. Um, as much as I like the fear fours. I might low key pass on the fear fours. I mean, I love the fact that they're coming, you know, bring them back out. You know what I mean? But I, that is one Jordan four. I might just pass on. Uh, what about the shadow lows wrap? Um, shadow one lows are nice. I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know about them yet. I don't know about them yet. I don't know yet. I know. I just want those mochas. If they come out, let me see. Hold on. Let me look at this list of, uh, of lows like this Jordan one low right here. This blue one's pretty nice. I mean, man, I need that Travis. What do I got to do? I need that. Where is it? Not that that that's coming out too. This one's not bad at all. This one's nice. This one's nice too. So it's so funny that I talked to somebody the other with uh, somebody with the other day about this sneaker right here. Like supposedly a lot of the resellers are really trying to hype this up right now. Like this, 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 this Panda Jordan Four or whatever you guys want to call this. What is the White Thunders? Hold on. I don't know. Let me know in this chat. Uh, give me your honest opinion about the the White. I guess you would call it the White Thunder Fours. Give me your personal opinion about it, please. I I gotta I gotta see who in here actually likes this shoe. Okay, let me let me bring this up. Pull it up real quick. Zoom in. Okay. Well, too far. There we go. Who in here likes this sneaker? Drop or drop? Uh, you're going to pay resale for that, Travis? Hitman, I might consider, but I'm not sure. Pass? Dude, this is like a no-look pass for me, dude. Like... They're uh they're not for me, but in the long run, value will go up. You think so? And that's what pe some people are saying that like the value of the shoe will definitely go up over time because it's only a black and white sneaker. But I mean, did you see uh Ross get spanked by a crew yesterday playing Madden? I did see that mixing pieces. That shit was embarrassing. It was like what fifty one to twelve top Oreo fours. I mean, if you need, a, I just know that my niece already brought this up to me. She, she wants, my niece wants this shoe. It's because it's a black and white sneaker. It goes with everything. It's a Jordan four. Just know what's going to be interesting is that like the fact that this shoe is obviously going to get reconstructed. So it's going to be a little bit more comfortable than your, you know, original Jordan fours that we've seen personally passing, but I bet they will resell because of the colorway. All them kids will want because it's wearable. Not only that, these are dropping in August. Remember, back to school shopping, right? A lot of these high school kids, probably a lot of the younger generation, a lot, a lot of the younger kids are going to want this for the upcoming school year. Be like a black and white shoe. You know what? Perfect. Pops, mom, dad, grandma. If you want to buy me something for back to school shopping, I want these Panda Jordan 4s. It's the first day of uh, school. I'm going to be rocking these. First day of sneaker shoes. Jordan 4 Pandas. <clears throat> Only reason why it probably have some value to it. It'll probably be like around like 280, 270. I think it's because a lot of some of the resellers are comparing these to the um to the black military fours. 
Mocha lows in August too. Oh, must cop. It most likely will be a shock drop on those two. Big pass. They clean though. McNasty. What up, McNasty? What up, dude? Jordan fours are not four hundred dollars anymore. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Not every shoe is gonna have resale. And wouldn't be surprised if this ends up shock dropping in July. This could be the shock drop Jordan in July when it's slow. This and the Moco Jordan 1 lows. I mean, it's not a bad month for August. You get the Moco lows. You got these fours. This will be at your local DSG. These will drop at DSG, most likely. Unless they make this as a woman's exclusive, which I highly doubt they would. But... Yes, uh, San Antonio going to have uh, be rocking these heavy. Yellow Thunders, White Thunders. Oh, of course. Easy. Yellow Thunders over White Thunders. Easy. Easily. What about those uh, low Royal Ones coming out? Um, Honey Badger 4s. You can make these an affordable black cat. Oh, you know what? That, pfft, I can see that happening. You already see people do that, though. Like on TikTok... People will be making like custom, uh, what the hell did just pop up my feed? You guys don't want to see this TikTok feed that just popped up. Yeah, I did. Yeah. What the hell, man? Okay, here we go. Is this it? Now, where is it? Oh my God, music. <laughs> Would you guys do this? Jordan 4, like, uh, okay. Okay. Um, so when I first saw this video, I just feel like the work that is done on this shoe is just so lazy. Like, I understand, like, the suede is all black. But, like, not taping, at least do some, like, taping around, like, the shoe. Because you're just, you're just, like, spray painting the entire shoe. You know what I mean? Like, even when they get to, look, 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 when they get to the midsole, like, they don't care if they get paint on the midsole or on the suede. Like, they're just spray painting it. And they're overlapping it with the suede. You're just ruining the shoe. Like, this is not, I get the concept, but it's just, exactly, Brian, it's just sloppy, you know? It's just like, look, no tape, look, it's just, all right, let's just spray, spray the Jumpman black because the entire back tab of it's black, so we'll just blend in. No, it's not. Like, you're going to see it, like, up close, you're going to see it, like, you're going to see the paint, uh, the paint. Like, look, you don't even care, like, they're painting over the suede, like, you're ruining the material of the shoe. See, like you could even see when they get here. It's just, it's just sloppy. It's just sloppy. They make the jump man gray. Like, you see, overall, like, when it's done, it looks cool from afar. But, like, I don't know. Whatever. This way it's going to get effed up. The fact that she didn't uh, acetone and uh, sand the yellow midsole. Shit is going to chip off. Most likely. Probably smells like uh, tuna fish. No, that shit probably smells just straight up paint. They have a home a home and away pair of the uh, DNs coming out in August in Colorado. Uh, colorway, okay. <laughs> Someone even said, uh, those are not black cats. <laughs> Just buy black cats. <laughs> Do you guys consider as customs fake?
do you guys do you guys consider do you guys consider uh customs like custom sneakers as a fake shoe just a question because like you know how like people like customize customize like travis's you know jordan one lows or jordan one highs to like you know customize it to you know travis's you guys consider as customs as fakes I mean, it's two different things, right? Custom is custom. Customize something that you like versus something that is unauthorized by Nike. Right? I think that's. I think that's the. I think that's the difference, right? The difference is taking a retail pair of a shoe from a retailer store. And then paint, you know, customizing it to something that you want, right? Because the original shoe is from a retail store that Nike approved versus a shoe that is from a random website that is unauthorized and approved by Nike. Isn't that the difference, right? Right. I see that a lot where like people are like, oh, customs are fakes, da, 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 this. Um, and fakes are fakes. If you customize your Honda, is it a fake? Deleon says, I might custom for a, uh, a living. We are a real shoe for everything. No, do you consider your car fake Raph with all them custom parts you put on it? Well, I mean, it's just a question. I'm not, I'm not agree. I'm not disagreeing with you. Uh, what about the customs Nike does? Yeah, like Nike by you, like the Nike by use. That's a good one too. Nike by use. That is, that's, that's definitely a custom, a hundred percent a custom. Fonda, Honda, do you wanna? Now fake in my opinion. Yeah, I don't think it's fake. I get questions all the time. What do you think about fakes? Like, what do you think about fakes? Like, I don't care about fakes, dude. Like if you want to wear fakes, do it. I just don't. I don't understand why people shit on people that wear fakes. That is, is that that's what I don't understand. But I, I don't. I mean, if you want to wear fakes, that's fine. It's up to you. Is Rafi making his custom Honda look like another car? I wear says, yeah, I'm changing the entire logo. I'm trying changing to the uh, the, the logo and, and putting a um a straight up Hellcat logo into my entire car um if you customize a honda you're gay what kind of comment is that dude if you customize your honda you're gay like what kind of like <sighs> sometimes sometimes i wonder to myself like like why do people got to be that <laughs> negative when it says like those certain comments like that's crazy bmw started uh selling fakes themselves uh just don't try to uh, pass fakes as real when people are reselling them yeah that's 100 percent true because like that's the problem where like you know uh when people like what's it called buy fakes to rock sure but then whenever you buy fakes to try to sell to people then i get i guess that's the problem right um put a lambo logo no fakes for me uh but to each its own uh straight up ignorant yeah it's all good dude you guys know me i don't i try not to entertain the um I don't try to entertain that those type of comments. I'll say it sometimes, but I don't try to entertain it, guys. It's all good. I customize my girlfriend. She's all fake because she's so. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You know what my girl asked me yesterday? I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I mean, you know, your lady be like, man, I look, I wish I looked like this girl. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and my girl asked me yesterday, she was like, babe, I listen, guys, you guys could listen. Listen, 
you guys tell me if you guys i need i need where's all my men in that where's all my where's my men bros in here where's my guy bros i need your guys help i don't know if this was a test so yesterday my girl asked me the wifey asked me she was like babe do you think this girl right here has a nice bbl i said i was bro i was dead ass chat i was brushing my teeth and I'm just like, I, I was like, I stopped brushing my teeth for a second. I stopped there. I was like, I was like, what, what did you ask me? I went, to, I walked up to the room because she was laying down, you know, reading her book and she was on TikTok, whatever. And she was like, does this girl have a nice BBL? I'm just like, why would you, why would you, why, why would you want me what what why like i asked her why why do you want me to you know she was like well i just wanted to i just wanted to ask you because if you do like it would you want it would it look good on me like i'm just like i'm just like listen babe <laughs> she showed me the video and she you know i, I looked at it you know what i'm saying and she was all like so what do you think I was all like, I don't know. Like I asked her, I was like, why would you want to consider? Like, you know what I mean? She's like, I don't know. I'm just asking just a thought, you know, just a thought. It's not like that. She wants one. She says it's a thought, you know, when girls look at stuff in the internet and then she's like, Oh, I wonder how I would look like if I had one, da, 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 this, that's, it was one of those moments. So I told her, I was all like, listen, I, I said, I think I said the right thing. I said, babe, you look good. However, however you look like. You don't need all that stuff that other this you're doing, you're doing well, you look good, you look sexy as I, I said that chat, I said, you look sexy as hell, you know what I'm saying? And that was it. So she was like, okay, well, but do you think I think I would look good with the BBL? I'm, not, I'm, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, bro, this conversation just went left and I didn't answer after that. So I think I, I think I was good. <laughs> Yeah, you just say you're beautiful the way you are. I was like, bro, I was like, what? Because you guys know, like, you know, like the, the generation now, just like a lot of women get BBLs and stuff like that. And and they look good. It's just like, I don't know. Bro, I was confused as shit, dude. I had like a, I had a, like a, a, a I had a, a weird moment, bro. I didn't know what to say. I was, bro, I was like, I was talking just the way I was. I was like stuttering because I don't get those type of questions from the wifey. <laughs> it's a test that uh, she feeling uh it's a test uh she is feeling insecure man not not as not as much i mean the wifey is not as insecure that I, I hope she's not i mean but i i remind her how beautiful she is so all the time uh parking uh parquet collectibles for the six month re-up raffi with the bbl all right all right parquet <laughs> no all right you dodged a bullet i appreciate you guys all my uh all my guys in here i appreciate y'all even the woman in here i think i passed the test i think i'm good and that's the uh night raffi got some extra <laughs> you feel me drag you know what i'm saying man <laughs> um raffi was about a uh, i was flabbergasted dude ollie i was because i was like you know what I mean? I don't get those type of questions um, from the wife. So it was, you know, I've been with my girl for about 11 years and it's it, that those type of questions just don't get brought up randomly. So it's like I was very thrown off. So I thought I would share it with you guys because, you know, sometimes you get those um, uh, you get those type of uh, questions from your wife. And you're just like, you don't know what to say. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, w women with the work done gonna be more saggy than <laughs> jeans and five years. <laughs> Jeez. Um, oh gosh, hell yeah, dude. You never trip. Uh, always felt me, uh, your mana. You can uh, look and don't touch. Um, bro, I get that all the time. My girl will be like going out. To, we'll be out dinner, dude, and she'd be like, "Look at that girl over there. You think she looks good?" Like. Nah, like I feel like it's like one of those things where like you're doing this, like she'll be like, she's done that to me before. Where she's like, look at that girl, like she got a she got a fat da da da, and I'll be like, I'm you're doing this. I'm just like, no, nah, no, nah, I know what you're doing, and she starts laughing. I was like, because she'd be doing that sometimes. She'd be like, look at that. She's like, oh, I was like, I'm, I'll be, I'll look, and she be like, oh, you just want to look, huh? Of course you want to look. Come on, man. She'd be joking with me like that sometimes. <laughs>
<laughs> Where's the Kobe raffles? Just tapped in back. What up, Jeremy Wu? It's on the Discord group. If you want to follow the raffles, uh, you're more than welcome to. All right. Honestly, the best uh, policy has been married for 21 years. Now, I appreciate y'all because I know a lot of you guys are in a, uh, a long, you know, you know, healthy, hopefully a healthy relationship with your significant other. I just needed my guy bros real quick because I was like, dude, I was mind boggled. I didn't know what to say. <laughs> Never ask a question you don't want the answer to. Girls love doing it. Yeah. <laughs> I needed your guys. I needed some of your guys' advices, so I, I appreciate y'all hearing me out. Takes me to your wife takes you to a strip club. I don't know how would my girl would feel if I just like yeah I'm going to the strip club with the with the boys. I don't know how she would feel. I don't even want to consider asking her that question. No, no, no. I don't even want to. You just can't. She's behind you. Yeah, I, if you don't think your lady is a baddie, you need a new one, Drex says. Facts. You always got to remind how beautiful the wife is, dude. I always remind her every single time. Even on the weekends when she's like, you know, actually trying and, you know, looking good and shit like that. And shit like that. You know, you got to remind the wife how good she looks. Um, <laughs> I guess relationships is a death trap, Benny says. <laughs> no, bro, no, no, it's all good. I mean, the guys in here that's been married for their significant other for a long time, for years, I mean, could definitely relate to what I'm talking about, you know what I mean? Because, like, it's like when, you, when you're with your significant other for so long, you know, you got to remind them and kind of do those small things. I tell people all the time. I get a lot of my homies hit me up all the time to ask advice about relationships, you know, but, you know, ain't relationships ain't no perfect, you know, that shit ain't perfect all the time. But when you've been through a lot of shit with someone for years, I mean, um, I'm sure we could all relate to one another for sure. Uh, DeCraze, what up, dude? Appreciate you tapping in. Shout out my boy DeCraze in the building. Good morning, Rav. What it do? I missed this morning. What up, Ryan Jacobs? Nothing. We were just vibing all morning, man. Just wanted to give some positive vibes uh, for a Friday. I know I understand there's nothing going on on a Friday. Um, nothing going on this week. But, you know, I'm, I'm here to kind of get your guys' day going. Kind of give you guys uh, a positive note. Um, you know, before your guys weekend starts, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, it's, it's, it's always fun to, you know, chop it up with some, you know, some of you guys and kind of, kind of yap about random stuff that we could relate to one another. So that's the ultimate part. That's what's fun about these, uh, low key streams is that we start to kind of go off talking about random stuff about life. And it's fun that we could all go, uh, and relate to one another. So I thought I'd share that with you guys because I was like, dude, I was mind blown last night. Uh, I don't care if mine uh, looks at uh, other woman. Doesn't bother me. If she's pretty, she's pretty. JS mom says, there we go. It's nice that you do have uh that you have that mindset that you're not insecure in a way. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of people out there. It's like, why are you looking at them like that? Da 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 this, da 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 that, you know? Uh, marry your family, best way to it, Ben C says. Can I get the Discord family? Of course, Jeremy, of course, I got you, my guy. Shout my boy, Jeremy Wu. Jeremy, I don't know if you realize, but we gave you a mod, dude. Um, hold on, let me see. We gave you a mod wrench. I don't know if you realize that. Hold on, let me see. Let me give you a, a link real quick. I got you, my guy. All right, there it is. If you've been with your girl for 20 years, I know you thought about other, uh, I know you thought about other woman, Easy E says. Uh, 21 uh, years with the wifey. There you go. I got like three ladies. I'm trying to make my wife. <laughs> Paulo says, looking and staring are two different things. Staring and looking is two different things. Women uh, wear makeup because man falls in love with what they uh, see. Men lie because uh, uh, women fall in love with what they hear. Message. Uh, shout out to my boy Drex. There you go. Um, Gamer says, uh, rapping with 7K views yesterday from the stream. Yeah, vertical gets you a lot of um, gets you a lot of views for sure. Vertical streams get you a lot of views, my friend. Uh, going to EDC next month and my girl told me I need to uh, keep my eye to myself. There you go. I mean, for me, I'm going to I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I, I'm not a, I've, I've already said this. I'm not a huge rave guy. Like me personally, I'm not a huge raver. Like I don't like EDM music. I'm sure some of you guys do, but me personally, I like to just like, you know, go to, you know, bar hopping, uh, hang out with the homies, um, and then just chop it up. You know, obviously back in my early twenties, like I was, dude, I was going crazy when I was 21, going to the clubs, bars, 
and all that BS. But now, like, I wouldn't mind just going to a bar, hanging out, talking about bullshit and shit like that. Like, you know, obviously, if I'm with my close friends and then, you know, what I'm saying like if we go bar hop and shit, whatever it goes down, we just have some fun. But like, I just kind of have to I like to just chill. Uh, the way to men's heart is to is his stomach. A way to woman's heart is his wallet. Oh, gosh. Going to EDC too. There you go. I know this month is what isn't. I don't know if you guys are into like Coachella stuff. I know the wifey's sister. She loves going to Coachella. She goes like every single year. Uh, better ask your uh, your girl that there's a difference in looking and staring dances. Do people still go to clubs? I don't know. I don't know if people go to clubs like that. I don't know. I haven't been in. I don't even remember the last time. I think the last time I've been to a club was like. I think it was back in 2022, I think. That was, yeah, it was about two years ago. Ryan Jacobs for the 16-month re-up. Run it up, them likes, chat. Thank goodness it's Friday, Ryan Jacobs says. Thank you so much for the 16-month re-up. Appreciate that. Like, when I went to San Diego on that vacation that I went to go see my parents, like, we didn't even, like, me and the wifey were like, you know what, let's do something on a Friday night. My parents are here. Let's, you know, my parents were willing to watch my kids. And that was, that's a rare sight. Like when my parents are in town or if I'm going out to go see my parents out there in San Diego, San Diego I'm like, all right, we're going to make sure me and the wifey goes, goes uh, and does stuff together because like me and the wifey never have one-on-one. -on -one. Like we maybe do like a one-on-one, -on -one, maybe like three times, three, four times a year. And that is true. Because we have no one to watch our kids. So like when my parents are in town or if we go to see them. So when I went down to San Diego, right, my mom and dad were willing to watch the kids. And we're like, that was awesome. They're like, yeah, go out, go have some fun, blah, 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 this, right? Me and the wife were like thinking like, all right, what should we do? And obviously we're like, we could go bar hop, da, 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 this. And I was like, you know what? Let's not bar hop. I was like, let's go out to a dinner. Let's go to a nice dinner, get a couple drinks. And then, you know, we went to our we went to our favorite dessert spot um, out there in San Diego. When we first started dating, we went back to our spot that we went when we uh, uh, the dessert spot, dude. We decided to do that versus getting like wasted at the bar. So that was way more nicer and more chill than just like getting wasted at a bar or like a club or some shit because we just wanted to go out and have some fun. But that that shit was that was that shit was nice. That night was good. We had some good ass food. The lady I gave us some free drinks. That shit was dope. Um, if anyone is gonna have marry my sister, it's gonna be uh, if anyone is gonna marry my sister, it's gonna be me. Delion says, "Oh no, <laughs> I'm good on Coachella Fest this year. I'll hit the uh, pool parties though, dude." So in August, in August, so my parents are supposed to be home by summer, and. In August, I'm planning a trip for the wifey in August to Vegas. Um, what's your dessert spot, Raf? Uh, Rob, one of our first dessert spot date that me and the wifey did was a uh, Cafe Hue. Cafe Hue. I don't know if you ever heard of that. Cafe Hue. It's out there in Sandal. I know you're from San Diego. Cafe Hue. I don't know if it's out there in um, uh, is it Kearney Mesa? I think. I forget. I forgot where where I forgot what it's out. It's off the 805, I think. I think it is. I'm not sure. I think it's Kearney Mesa, I think. Um But no. So this August, I'm planning a trip to Vegas, I think, for the wifey's birthday. So she's listen, the wifey, the thing is like the wifey, the, obviously we had our me and my uh my uh what's it called? My the wifey got pregnant. For the first time when she when we uh, turned 21 so she didn't really get to enjoy her 20 or her early 20s because she was pregnant i mean obviously back to back because we had like riley right after and uh so this time i, I gotta make sure this trip is like special for her chat in august so i'm planning a trip in august at, to vegas and uh, dude i gotta make dude chat you guys got to put me on like anybody that's been to Vegas multiple times. Like what I've been to Vegas a couple times and partied, but like I'm talking about like good food spots um, and shit like that. Cause I'm like making sure this is all like, you know, a good trip for her. See you in Vegas. It's my uh, birthday and my anniversary in early in August. SCG says, there you go. Yes, sir. GG. Welcome dude. Officially. 
I'm not sure exactly. I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what month, but um or what day, but it's gonna be in August. Uh shout out to Gigi. Thank you so much for the re-up. Thank you so much officially. Um appreciate that. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh ain't sipping if you're pimping, the grace says. Uh Raffy uh boy going to a casino for show. Go to Spear. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, convoy, Rob, yes. On convoy, Rob, exactly. It's on convoy. Sorry, Rob. The one in it's either no, it is on convoy. It is on convoy. Rob, it's on convoy. I think it's on convoy. Uh <laughs> making baby collects. Nah. Let's see. Uh go to Arena 15 in Vegas. I heard uh the restaurant. I don't know if you guys heard of it. Um, I don't know if you guys heard the spot um catch out there in Vegas. I heard that's pretty good. I was consider going there. I don't know if you guys heard of it. It's called catch out there in Vegas. So like I'm I'm literally trying to plan this trip in July and then obviously like do all the expenses and stuff in July and then have everything settled in August. Uh Master Kim's bar uh, Korean barbecue in Vegas. I love Korean barbecue, James. So I gotta put all these uh listing spots. Uh all the food spots are in convoy. Rob, we gotta link up next time I go down to Sandong, dude. We gotta link up. If you're I didn't even know you were in San Diego. Um, saving myself for marriage. Omigo says, Yeah, I catch in uh Din Tai Fung at the uh Aria. Okay. Catch anywhere is nice, nice and expensive. Yeah, I I've seen it before. My sister's been there before and it looks pretty legit. Um, Vegas buffets always hit. I've been to so many buffets in my life, dude. I'm good on buffets. Um, when did men start calling their wives wifey? That's so lame and annoying. David says, David, what's your problem, dude? <laughs> Typical David, dude. When did, when did men start calling their wives, uh, uh, wifey? What do you call your wife then? <laughs> like, what am I supposed to call her? Like, I just gotta call her the wifey, dude. What am I supposed to call her? Mommy? What am I supposed to call her, dude? It's my wife. My girl. Like, I don't know. You want to know her government name? Like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, took my homies rolling smoke uh, BBG. Hella bomb, bro. Make sure y'all hit the uh, blackjack tables in Vegas. Dude, I'm not going to lie. I, I, I never gamble in Vegas, but... I am definitely going to gamble the next time I go to Vegas, dude. Who Who's down for some roulette? I'm telling you guys. Ever since we've... Listen. Ever since we've we've talked about... Listen. Ever since we've talked about roulette, I've been wanting to play. I've been wanting to play some roulette. I'm not going to hold y'all. He calls her bro. Bro said mommy. <laughs> the, the old ball and chain, David says. I guess the old ball and chain. I don't know, dude. Hunter on black. Dude, I'm, I'm going to have to do that. The next time I go to Vegas, bro, I'm going to take a picture and post it on Instagram. And I'm, I'm going to make a I'm going to make a poll, dude. I'm going to make a poll. Red or black. And I'm going to be with media and his wife. Shout out my boy Media, because my boy Media is out there in Vegas. I, 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 yo, Media has better be the one that picked me up at the airport. <laughs> um, he calls her a sis. Oh no, <laughs> oh, gosh, not the sis, not the step, bro. Um, Taco Delgado for a quick bite. Uh, Taco Delgado, or Taco El Gardo. Like I've been there multiple times. It's okay. There's all there's so many different like Rob could probably tell you there's so many good spots in San Diego or like different taco shops are way better than Taco El Gardo. Uh, if you're gonna play any uh, table games, just play um, Beckerit and easiest game and uh, best odds. Period. What's that other? Um, is it crabs or some shit that my uh, friend was telling me to play? Uber is ready. Uh, media says we just had a uh, earthquake here in New Jersey. The house sh uh, shook like crazy. What? Y'all just had an earthquake out there in New Jersey? Dude, holy shit. Just now? <laughs> Strip house, steak uh, house in Vegas, G says. Okay. Yo, you guys just had an earthquake out there in New Jersey? Just now? 
Please be careful. Holy shit. That's crazy. I think someone just said that. I'm serious. My wife's job is evacuating. Holy shit, dude. Is it on Twitter? Let me see. Dude, you guys. Holy shit. That, let me see. Says, oh yeah, people are tweeting it. Total just had an earthquake in New York. Did you feel it? 20 seconds, 30 seconds of a very low rumble as through a subway was passing by outside. Did anyone else experience the earthquake in NYC? Yeah, everyone's tweeting out was just an earthquake in New Jersey. Oh, snaps. Be safe out there. Facts. My wife literally just texted me in Long Island. She felt an earthquake. Uh-oh. Long Island just called me. Also, he felt it there. Yeah, Twitter, Twitter is going off about it. I'm, I'm seeing it right now. Yeah, dude, that's scary. Um, yeah, my house, um, my house just shook up here in NY. Crazy, my house still shaking. Yo, you guys be careful out there. That's sad. That's that's scary, dude. Yeah, you ever uh ever come to Boston for uh, events? Tap in. I'll show out in the city, fam. Yeah, Jeremy, I got you, bro. I appreciate you, my guy. Thank you so much. Uh, Raphael, I'll get you some food places from, for when I come out to Seattle in May, I'll be visiting my sister, but she's, a, she, uh, she is vegan. Yeah. Ryan, yo, Ryan, when you're coming out to, uh, to Seattle, hit me up, Ryan. I don't know if, uh, you have me on Twitter. Just hit me up. I'm going to be in the, uh, I'm going to be at the sneaker convention. So, so pull up to sneaker expo. Um, if you're going to be with your sister, you guys pull up, um, and say, what's up. I'll have my booth open for you, uh, for everybody. So you should pull up. Bro, I didn't even register the uh, the quake yet. I'm in Connecticut and I uh, and I felt it. JS all day says, yeah. Uh, I've never experienced an earthquake. I've I've only experienced an earthquake maybe one time, and that was when I was in LA, and like I felt it a little bit, and and that was the only time. But other than that, like I, I've I've never experience that whole ass earthquake like that happy friday to you raf and collect fam two weeks until i'm at vegas for the spear I'm gonna be breaking out some kicks have that been uh ds for a bit there you go jess hopefully it's not an all white shoe if you're gonna bring an all white sneaker just know that shit's gonna get cooked if you're gonna be uh, walking around the strip if you're gonna wear all white sneakers mostly all white bottom shoes if you're gonna be walking around the strip dude at the end of the day, look at the bottom of your sneakers. They're going to be cooked. It don't matter what you wear. <laughs> uh, this is what it is about. Show love, no hate. Facts, Jeremy. Big facts. We uh, plan on pulling up to the event. Yeah. Ryan, let me know, bro. Let me know. Let me know. And the we'll, we'll, we'll link Ryan. Chumbo boy, Ryan Jacobs. That's dope, dude. You came. You're coming to Seattle at a perfect time, dude. That is so dope. You get to uh, enjoy the venue. Hopefully, it's nice weather when you're out here, Ryan. You come, you get to go to the vent um, that's going to be coming out here. So that's perfect. Ryan, I don't know if you have a, what's it called? A collection family hat yet, Ryan. If you don't have one, I'll, I'll hook you up with one. Just pull up to the uh, the booth. I got you. I'll take a trip to Mass during the summer and because uh, she can link up. Oh, yeah, dude, that'd be dope. You can all link up. Facts, dude. Uh, Cushy, I think Cushy's like, he lives near you, right, Drex? Got family up there. I felt an earthquake in my pants. I just let out a bomb, David says. <laughs> you know what, David? It's crazy. You know what, David? I think I could accept some of the negative comments that you say in this chat because it it's not harmful in a way. And you've been a supporter for like, I don't know how long. You've been a supporter for a very, very long time. A long time. And <laughs> the fact, I just know that's the David, dude. That's the David that we know. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me see. What's this photo? Oh, here we go. Exactly in uh, at four, at seven. Wait, wait. Is it seven? Oh, no, no. That's, that's not our time. That's exactly where the earthquake was, right here. Shop my boy Media for the $2 donation. 
I'm out here in Boston. I've never been to Boston. Yeah, they're two hours from me. That's not bad. That's not very far. That's like me going driving to Seattle. That's not bad at all. Um, there you go. Yeah, that's scary, dude. Hopefully, uh, ain't nothing. Uh, hopefully, it's nothing serious. Anybody out there in New Jersey, be careful. New, uh, New York. Uh, Paulo for the two dollar donations. Hope everyone okay. We will be fine. Paulo says. Yeah, Paulo says I'm outside still. <laughs> Paulo says I'm outside still. Uh, no wonder that shit felt like. Uh, no wonder that that shit felt like that. Lol. Not even a a member, but. He's a huge supporter. Yeah. I mean, he's 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 been here, so um let's see. Hell yeah, my sister planned it all out uh for me, even paid for the flight, sis the goat, and no, I don't have a hat. Yeah, yeah, Ryan Jacob, if you pull up to the van, I'll hook you up with one, man. We'll make sure we get you one. All right. So just pull up and I got you, my guy. Check Twitter. Facts, I gotta go run errands. Paulo says it don't matter. Paulo says I gotta be outside. I gotta be outside. <laughs> I'm down for a New England meetup uh, with the collection family. Amigo says. Hope everyone okay. We will be fine. <laughs> Raffy stream with the breaking news now, right? Breaking news. Earthquake just hit New Jersey. Uh, hopefully you guys are all right, man. Go uh go contact your loved ones, man. Uh, you rocking the SB Force, so the uh, Las Vegas Strip? No, I don't have any SB Force, Chris. <laughs> I don't know if that was an inside joke. <laughs> I don't have any SB Jordan Fours, and I'll never own that shoe. All right, any drops this morning? No drops this morning, man. It's kind of chill this morning. We're just kind of chilling. It's Friday chat. If you guys don't mind, run it up real quick. All right, smash that like button. Okay, even though it's been a chill stream. Um, nothing really going on. You guys know, I, I'm, I, you know, I try to help you guys out, get through your work shift and whatnot. Uh, trying to end a good note on a Friday. Um, trying to, you know, have you guys stay somewhat positive, even though if you're having a bad week or whatnot, but if you are having a bad week or if you're having a bad Friday, hopefully the stream kind of made it somewhat better for you guys. Um, and hopefully, you know, could carry on into your weekend. So, uh, but anyways, guys, uh, we're going to be live tomorrow morning uh, for the D-Books and the Jordan 4s. Uh, I'll jump on just for a low-key stream. Uh, if you guys are available on tomorrow morning, if you guys need some, uh, you know, time to kill. Or if you guys want to just see how the drop goes for tomorrow for the D-Books and the Jordan 4s. Uh, you're more than welcome to come through um and, and come show some love uh as always uh gg don't worry we're gonna have more merch coming up i think in may um that is my goal uh we're gonna have some merch coming up here soon i gotta i gotta work the let's go hit up my guy that uh, worked with us on the last drop for the collection family hats so um we'll have some we'll have some new ones for you gg all right uh but guys enjoy your weekend um if you're not gonna be here tomorrow um, but I'll see you guys tomorrow morning to the ones that do pull up. Uh, thank you guys so much for pu pulling up as always, mostly for the slower days. Um, uh, thank you guys so much for your constant support. Uh, hitting that like button definitely goes a long way if you guys don't mind. Um, once again, hopefully you guys all have a great day. Uh, it's Friday, so... You know how Friday goes. Get excited for your weekend. Get your weekend started. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning to the ones that will pull up all right um if you guys want to sign up for any of the kobe's anyone that was asking about the kobe raffles uh the kobe raffles are live on our discord group um if you guys want to go under the uh the raffle tab more than welcome to do so if you go live in the afternoon i got you with the uh don't know i still can't do it from the phone and i no it's all good drex you know you're good bro you're good you're good you're gucci my guy you're good man you're good but maybe I'll pull up in the afternoon. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna might, I might be a little busy because I'm gonna be working on my car. So, but thank goodness it's Friday, guys. Stay positive. Be nice to people. Um, do something positive. Um, today. Um, I don't know. Whatever it is, dude. Whatever it is. Um, you guys enjoy your Friday, man. I'm gonna leave you guys on a good note, man. Love y'all. You guys have a good day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right. Make sure you guys hit that like button on the way out. Love y'all. I'm out of here. It does look like big fun. Come on, let's get it on. Like that one fin gay. I'm sun.